Hi, I'm Casey Davidson, Product Manager with Shakespeare Fishing Company. Today we're going to talk about the proper way to re-spool a spin cast reel. Today we're going to be re-spooling the Shakespeare Synergy Steel 10 size reel. And the first thing we want to do is make sure we're putting the correct pound test line on your reel. So what you want to do is flip it over and identify the line capacity right here on the reel. This particular reel calls for 75 yards of 10 pound test. The next thing we want to do is remove the front cone of the reel by unscrewing it and we just want to take all the remaining line off of your reel. Just take all the old line off. Okay, so now we've taken all the old line off of our reel and we're ready to reattach the new line. So the first thing you want to do is take that line and run it through the first guide of your rod. And I'm going to demonstrate the next steps with this yellow piece of line. So what I'm going to do is run that through the front cone of the reel set that down and I'm going to start to tie the knot that to attach the line to the reel. So the first step is to tie a simple overhand knot like so. I'm going to go ahead and wrap that around the reel. Then we're just going to tie another overhand knot. And the key here is to make sure that that first knot we tied stays outside of your second knot. I'm just going to make sure that's around the spool there and tighten that up. You're going to go ahead and pull on your main line, which is here. This knot's going to tighten down, and your first knot will slide right underneath and snug up to the line. So now we've attached the line to the reel. And the next step, we want to go ahead and screw back on our front cone. The important thing to remember here is we have to keep the line tight when we're putting that front cone back on. So what I like to do is just hold it tight right with my finger and thumb and go ahead and re-screw that front cone back on. Now we're ready to spool. So I'm going to continually apply pressure to the reel and I'm just going to start winding it right on. So we've wound the line on there, maybe 40 or 50 cranks, and then we want to go ahead and unscrew the front cone again and check and see how much line is on the reel. A uh, good rule of thumb is you just want to Look inside and, and make sure that there's about an eighth of an inch of the inside of the reel still showing. Okay, so now we've got our reel filled with line. Next, you just want to run the line through the rest of your guides and tie on your favorite lure and you're ready to go fishing. I hope you guys enjoyed our video today. Please check us out on our Shakespeare Fishing page on Facebook and also check us out on the web at Shakespeare-Fishing.com.